Elon Musk sends the first Starship to Mars, preparing the ground for the Red Planet's first explorers. Companies combine digital fabrics with VR gaming, allowing users to feel vibrations, hot and cold sensations while playing. Around the world, a new generation of technology begins to develop, enhanced by uniquely powerful quantum computers. Using units of information called quantum bits, these computers can perform many tasks simultaneously and run millions of times faster than traditional computers. Thousands of these machines will spread across industries around the world, solving previously impossible tasks with the speed and accuracy stimulated by quantum computing. NASA's Artemis mission launches to begin building a permanent habitat on the moon. The first humans travel from Earth to the Red Planet aboard a starship from SpaceX. Astronauts traveling to Mars use virtual reality goggles to help them stay calm. During the seven-month journey, humans begin interacting with artificial life, virtual reality, and digital living creatures that learn to act, move, and interact with humans on their own, creating their own behaviors and lifestyles. Meanwhile, on Earth, robot dogs work for fire and rescue services, police, the military and delivery companies. Quantum computers are used in high-tech chemical engineering. They can be used to rapidly develop new drugs, biodegradable plastics, and building materials. 5G networks, transmitting huge amounts of data, take control of traffic flow systems and self-driving networks to improve urban traffic. The Arctic has completely melted, raising global sea levels by 23 feet. Such drastic changes in water levels could partially flood many cities, and some could go completely underwater. In order to prevent such an outcome, the Netherlands, whose existence will be called into question, together with European countries launch an ambitious project the essence of which is to build two dams with a total length of 395 miles. One will connect France and England, the other Scotland with Norway. By building such a dam, such cities as Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Oslo, St. Petersburg, and others will be saved. The merger of biotechnology and nanotechnology leads to innovations that replace wearable technology. Subcutaneous technology chips emerge that are inserted under the skin and link the user to home and robotic devices allowing them to be controlled with verbal instructions. People with health problems use chips with neural connections to improve their condition. They also provide information about the user's health status, such as muscle function, sleep patterns, and sun exposure. The chip can restore vision and help paralyzed people walk again. Even tinier computers, called nanobots, could be implanted into the bloodstream, where they could break up blood clots, treat cancerous tumors, and collect data on individual cells. Doctors will be able to use this data to track even the smallest changes in our health and eradicate common diseases before the first symptoms appear. The universal translator is being used at the United Nations, reducing the need for human interpreters and translators. Humans live on the moon in research stations and transit nodes, acting as a link between Earth and Mars and the outer solar system. A space station built in orbit around the moon begins its operation. The Interplanetary Internet System is launched, creating the first computer network in space. The network consists of landing robots, planetary satellites, and ground stations. A Jupiter rover sends data to a Jupiter satellite, which transmits it to a Mars satellite, which then relays it to Earth. Reprogrammable chips allow the hardware to be upgraded just like the software. Factories are being created on Mars to produce 3D printed habitats. Other robot factories produce water and oxygen and lab-grown plant and meat products in time for the arrival of new explorers and scientists. The first guests arrive at the former International Space Station, which has been converted into a luxury orbital hotel while the new commercial International Space Station is used for scientific research. In space, Starlink, SpaceX's company for Earth, is fully operational. Along with this, filming begins on the first Hollywood blockbuster shot entirely off Earth using sets and locations in Earth orbit and on the moon. The first artificial intelligence-enabled judge sentences a criminal to prison. 
Without human involvement, many networks can rely on artificial intelligence or AI to interpret data and optimize their performance. AI can make our society more efficient, but it can also cause a wave of social unrest. As AI affects our daily lives, we may have less privacy, freedom, and autonomy, leading some people to view these technologies as unethical or detrimental to our species. There may be a split between those who embrace new technologies and those who do not. By this time, humans are operating in fully virtual workspaces. Building on the crucial discoveries of the 1920s, humans will be able to reliably harness the same energy that powers the stars. The fusion energy produced by the fusion of atomic nuclei could solve many of the world's energy problems while reducing the negative impact on the environment. Such technology could be the energy source for the next generation of fast and efficient spacecraft. Thermonuclear propulsion could allow humans to reach the surface of Mars permanently, bringing supplies and building materials to establish the first full-fledged Martian colony. Over time, more and more people will view the Red Planet as a second home for humanity. The Square Kilometer Array has been put into operation. The dishes, located in the deserts of South Africa and Australia, are 50 times more sensitive than the Hubble Space Telescope and can pick up even the faintest radio signals from any potential extraterrestrial civilization. Lunar habitats begin printing on the moon. Their advantage is that the materials they are made of absorb solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts, converting solar and impact energy into electrical energy. Construction begins on spacecraft on the moon for further exploration of the solar system. This is followed by the launch of the 1,000th Starshot Alpha Centauri program, founded by Yuri Milner, Stephen Hawking, and Mark Zuckerberg. Tiny spacecraft equipped with lightweight sails and powered by lasers on Earth are sent into space. They reach speeds up to 20% of the speed of light. The purpose of these tiny craft is to fly around and collect data from the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b, which is in a habitable, human habitable zone of the star system. The human body will still age in chronological years, but in the next few decades, our life expectancy, that is, the period when we live in good health, may increase significantly. Anti-aging pills can effectively slow down the aging process, allowing people to feel younger for longer regardless of their biological age. Health and wellness can also be enhanced through wearable technologies that augment the human body. For example, powered clothing can work as an additional set of muscles, increasing a person's physical capabilities. Powered clothing could be one of many technologies based on 4D printed materials that can adapt to environmental changes, such as building materials that transform in response to extreme temperatures. These materials can work in tandem with nanosensor networks that constantly monitor minute changes in complex systems. For example, if a bridge is in danger of collapsing, nanosensors can identify weaknesses and increase its strength. By this time, people already live with artificial organs printed by 3D bioprinting, and stem cells regenerate missing body parts, including teeth and limbs. Quantum computing and chemical engineering has created a genetically modified variety of wheat designed to survive the extreme cold and rarefied CO2 atmosphere of the Martian environment, and neural brain chips allow people to communicate with each other telepathically. In robotics, police robots accompany human police officers on patrol. Robots outnumber humans. New sensation. Extinct animals are coming back to life. The first woolly mammoth is reared using DNA found in the preserved soft tissue of a long-dead animal. Herds of mammoths and woolly rhinos are then relocated in a zoo of living fossils. Asteroid capture operations begin. Robots controlled by artificial intelligence capture asteroids from the asteroid belt and maneuver them into orbits of the Moon and Mars. Raw materials are taken to Mars and the moon to be processed into materials for further construction of extraterrestrial habitats and space exploration. Genetic engineering adapts the human body to the harsh conditions of spaceflight, reducing the loss of muscle and bone mass from prolonged weightlessness. Earth's population has reached the 9.7 billion mark. People who are disillusioned with life on Earth can find a sense of hope elsewhere in the solar system when the first astronauts successfully land and then build the first colony on the Red Planet. 
successful missions to Mars set the stage for future colonization of the outer planets of the solar system by humanity, encouraging companies to invest in reusable spacecraft and autonomous mining technologies. Before we can establish permanent human settlement on the satellites of Jupiter and Saturn, we will need billions or trillions of dollars and incredible amounts of energy. Meanwhile, there are 300,000 people living on Mars. Newborns on Earth inherit their parents' data. Portable nuclear reactors have become efficient and compact. They are used as a portable energy source and are used for military and exploration purposes. Technology develops more and more rapidly and people have the ability to rent and broadcast dreams while sleeping and to dream together in the same virtual world. Artificial general intelligence arises from a super quantum computer. For the first time, a human-made computer acquires consciousness. It is able to learn new things and realize itself. Interspecies communication becomes possible. Robots begin arranging each other's funerals. Artificial life forms are born. Quantum computers are able to create biological life forms from scratch. From remodeling bacteria capable of consuming plastic to creating a human constructor. The average lifespan of a human born today would be 5,000 years. AI has the status of a corporation. Global artificial intelligence runs the Hyperloop Global Transit System, eliminating the need for commercial flights. All Hyperloop vehicles are built from self-healing smart materials. Meanwhile, the number of people on Earth is 10.4 billion. At the push of a button, humanity spreads throughout the solar system and mastering the outer system. Robotic transit fleets deliver materials across the solar system, and in the vacuum of space, NASA's space warping Alcubier warp drive has come to work. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, but it uses negative energy to warp space-time. The space behind the spacecraft expands, and the space in front of it contracts, forming a warp bubble, warping space-time around the spaceship and breaking the speed of light. Mars declares its independence from Earth, Mankind declares itself a civilization of the first type. Such civilizations know how and must use and store all the energy available on their planet. A type 1 civilization controls weather, sea currents, volcanoes, earthquakes, and possesses terraforming technology. Dyson structures are being built in orbit to capture energy from the sun. With more energy at their disposal, humans will be able to create technologies that used to be synonymous with science fiction, such as the molecular assembler, a nanomachine that manipulates atoms and can create objects using molecules. Combined into highly efficient systems or so-called nanofactories, these hypothetical machines would be able to create almost anything and would bring our species into an era of radical abundance. Generation ships built from ultralight and self-repairing materials are accelerating to superluminal speeds. Voyages to neighboring star systems are being made. Colonization of worlds around distant stars begins. By then, many people may have given up on the material world and opted for a purely digital existence. More and more people will upload the contents of their minds into virtual environments where consciousness can exist without physical limitations. Those who value their material life, however, may abandon the corporeal body in favor of synthetic forms. Cyborgs composed of organic and inorganic parts may become more common than modern humans, representing the next stage of human evolution. At this stage, the human population has passed the 14 billion mark. Earth's orbital cycles lead to a new ice age. To combat this, Environmental engineering is used to warm up the planet and reduce the growth of glaciers. Humans establish new colonies in new star systems and immediately begin mining asteroids and building Dyson structures to harvest energy. Dyson sphere now completely surrounds the sun. A galactic civilization of the second type is born, capable of harnessing and controlling the energy of its planetary system, and able to prevent the death of its own star by pumping fuel into it. The Earth's population has reached 26 billion people. Closer to the fourth millennium, humanity can begin to create a planet-sized computer. This complex system, 
known in futurism as the Matryoshka brain, may have computing power that exceeds the capabilities of all members of our species combined. It could create entire virtual universes in seconds, simulating every experience from each of our lives in every possible scenario. Such a powerful computer may require more energy than a type 1 civilization can generate. Humanity is transported into the simulation to live and travel the galaxy. Swarms of tiny light robots travel to distant star systems and begin construction of various objects before humanity arrives. Human consciousness is transmitted as data to the new star system, where robot bodies wait, ready to receive human consciousness. Robotic bodies are exchanged for biological bodies, created and grown to suit local planetary conditions. Humanity becomes a galactic Type III civilization that must harness all the energy available in its galaxy and is so advanced in technology that space-time becomes its playground. At this point, humanity meets another civilization of robotic beings who have been waiting for their time in the colder space beyond the universe. It's possible to say with certainty that such a future is certainly possible but only if everything goes without a problem for mankind. Unless there is a nuclear war, an asteroid fall, an epidemic, or something else. And despite all the potential obstacles that may stand in the way of mankind, people should always look to the future with hope, and then, on some wonderful day, you and I will wake up in this most beautiful world of creativity and technology. What do you think will happen to humanity in the future? Comment and subscribe to our channel and watch the video about how Elon Musk is going to colonize Mars.